When it comes to Roblox Halloween events, there are a few notable standouts like the Witching Hour or the newer Hallow's Eve events, but many people seem to forget about the 2011 classic, Halloween Paintball 2011 Crips of the Dunfort. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at what made this event so great. Roblox Halloween Paintball 2011 Crips of the Dunfort, whew, that's a mouthful, was released to the public on October 26, 2011 and ran until November 3rd, 2011. This game pitted the pumpkin men against the monsters in an epic battle of control points. Halloween Paintball also featured four prizes, and each prize was unlocked by earning in-game badges. It even made a short reappearance in 2013 when Shinletsky uploaded the game under his account, although the prizes were unattainable. But why was Halloween Paintball 2011 such a blast? Well, let's jump back to 2011 Roblox. <laughs> This was a time before the dreaded sponsorships and dev events we all grew to despise over the years even existed. This was a much simpler time where the front page consisted of classics like Welcome to the Town of Robloxia and... Escape? Kirby? Uh, anyways. Comparing this game to today's Roblox games, it's a pretty basic game. But at the time, it was a standout. It utilized new features like terrain, which looks much different than it does now, and mega places, which meant that the server could hold up to 30 players. Wow! And 30 players in one server in 2011 was a big deal. On top of these new features, the game was just fun. And I say fun because the core gameplay was solid and the map layout was well designed and balanced. That mixed with the ability to unlock some cool prizes made this a recipe for success. Now, let's take a deeper look at the core gameplay. Halloween Paintball 2011 was a game focused on control points. There were four control points total, with each control point giving your team one point every five seconds. You also receive one point for kill- Bloxing an enemy, and three points for capturing a control point. Each player received a paintball gun and a sword. The focus on control points led to many epic encounters where multiple players would be fighting over control points in an attempt to capture them for their team. The varying levels and spaces of the map created some fun moments as well. You had the underground section featuring a control point where the tunnels merge, there's also the castle area, which I specifically remember having so many player encounters as the tight inside space created close counter battles. I mean, the gameplay is a classic shooter formula, and what's not to like about that? The gameplay overall was really solid and had a lot to offer that kept me coming back long after I got all my prizes for this event. I feel like a lot of newer Roblox events don't seem as much fun once you get all the prizes. What made this game such a great event was also the prizes. Once you obtained the in-game badge for completing the badge objective, you got a prize for your Roblox avatar. These prizes were cool and probably one of the better Halloween event prizes. First up, we have the paintball cap. This was by far the easiest of the four prizes to obtain. All you had to do was be on the winning team. That's it. This would then award you the badge titled Teamwork for the Win, which would also grant your avatar the paintball cap. The next prize we have is a Halloween 2011 Paintball MVP Trophy. This one was a little bit harder to get, but still pretty obtainable. To get the prize, you just had to be the MVP of your respective team. So you didn't have to be the best player in the server, just top of the leaderboard on your specific team. This awarded the badge Most Valuable Player and gave your avatar the MVP Trophy Hat. So, the method to unlock the next two prizes were a bit more unique and required some map exploration, which I thought was so cool. So, we have the Fearless Paintball Mask here, which provided a challenge of exploration. To get this, you had to find the secret hole in the outer edge terrain and climb on top of the cliffside until you found a hidden monument with the paintball mask sitting on top. 
This would award you with the badge titled Fearless, which would give your Roblox avatar the paintball mask. The last prize was a pterodactyl hat. Kind of a plan words there. I see what Roblox was doing. Ter pterodactyl. This prize was the hardest to obtain of the bunch and required a bit of thinking. Or if you're like me, someone in the game told you exactly how to do it. Anyways, to obtain this prize, you had to shoot all the crows around the map in various locations. There were 12 crows in total, and every time you'd shoot a crow, you would hear a caw sound. Once you shot all the crows, you would then have to kill the pterodactyl that would be flying around the map. This would award you with the badge Scarecrow and give your avatar the prize. I genuinely think that this was a pretty clever and enjoyable challenge. In terms of today's Roblox, if I'm being completely honest, this game wouldn't hold up super well. I found a replica of the place and let's just say it's a bit rough around the edges in today's standards. I'm sure part of why I like this game so much is the memories I made on it, as well as wishing I could go back to a simpler time on Roblox. It's just disappointing that we will probably never see another Roblox Halloween event like this ever again. Overall, Halloween Paintball 2011 was a fantastic event. It also offered some unique badge challenges and cool prizes to go along with it. It's a shame that Halloween Paintball didn't stick around as a tradition on Roblox every year. With this year and last year having no events, it's looking less likely paintball will ever return, let alone any Halloween event. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Roblox Halloween event was, and let me know what event you'd like to see if Roblox still did events.